And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Man, it's rather difficult being the visiting side coming here when you take into account Manchester City's formidable home record, Lee. Yeah, 13 wins in 19 games is a record almost second to none. They really have turned this place into a fortress. Almost impossible to get a result here for the visitors. I don't see that changing today, Derek. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Bernd Leno stands between the posts. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the main forward here is Alex Lacazette. This should be one to savour. Manchester City get the contest underway. Gundogan the ball with Rodri De Bruyne Rodri here's Mares. and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose poor pass under no real pressure Effective challenge. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And taken away. De Bruyne Gabriel Jesus now well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him Mares and they keep working away looking for an opening beautifully timed well, really closing him down and it will be an Arsenal free kick Well, they no longer have the ball. De Bruyne. The ball with Rodri. Gabriel Jesus. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. He's driven in the corner. And they deal with the threat this time. A chance to whip it in. Foiling them effectively. Mares. 
Excellent defending. An example of how to press. An authoritative challenge. City unable to retain possession. Well, he took care of it defensively. Gabriel Jesus. Now Zinchenko. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Gundogan could take the lead. Cuts it back. But I must say, you could see that coming. They were standing off, and now they've been punished. Well, Derek, you're right. He has been coming. Now it will have to be plan B, but I'm not sure this team's got one. Well, here's the replay. That pullback cross is so hard to defend against. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Gundogan Mares it's with Joao Cancelo chance for Gundogan and it goes two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. It's going their way, 2-0. Martinelli. Tierney. Gabriel. Kieran Tierney. And he read it superbly. City certainly having the lion's share of possession. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. De Bruyne. It should be. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick fully deserved. Well done indeed. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. The game continues then, and it's been all City. Well, to be blunt, a mess of a performance up to this point. How can they improve, Lee? Well, Arsenal need a miracle, as simple as that. Half-time, just round the corner. The coach must be racking his brains on what to do next. He needs to change some players. A goal just before half-time might give him a boost, though. Rodri. Oh, 
what a perfect ball now. How about this? And easy meets for Bert Leno. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Lacazette. Gabriel Jesus. City move it forward with purpose. Mares. And now Stones. Mares. Tierney. It's with Erdogan. Arsenal have given it away. He continues his run. David Luiz coming out on top. And there goes the half-time whistle. We have to say, so typical of City. We spoke earlier, Lee, about how proficient they are at home. Well, the reason why their home record is the best is there for all to see. Powerful, creative, dynamic, brilliant football. I'm sure we're going to see more of that in the second half and hopefully more goals. Second half underway here, and Arsenal quite simply need to lift themselves. That's fine play to keep control of the ball. Lacazette prepared to fire. That's all they can conjure for now. Gundogan. Rodri. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Mares, De Bruyne, Gabriel Jesus now, Foden, deserves credit for winning the ball back, Mares in the advanced position, but will they be able to produce, Joao Cancelo, Beautiful pass. Textbook defending inside the box. Good strength to keep the ball. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. He's using his strength to good effect. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Rodri. Sloppy in possession from City. Bukataka. Granit Xhaka. Now Lacazette. And return to Lacazette. Xhaka with it. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, possession seeded. Foden. Gabriel Jesus now. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. So a throw in here. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Fine work from City to win the ball back. Might be onto something with that ball. It's a promising City move. 
De Bruyne. Well, they know they need to stop him. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. De Bruyne. Here's Aguero. Rodri. Now Zinchenko. And that pass could be troublesome. It might be. And not cleared away properly. De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Now, let's see what they can do here. Hector Bellerin. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. And breaking at pace with Menace. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Alexander Zinchenko. It's with Gundogan. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. De Bruyne. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. He's protecting it effectively. How about the cross? Gundogan. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Gundogan. Here's Aguero. Lost possession. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Thomas. Lino with it. And given that we're in the second half and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view, what positives can you find, Lee? Well, ear plugs all round for those Arsenal players as they enter that dressing room. The coach is going to go ballistic. Lack of intensity, no real hunger, no passion in the game. Shocking at the back, too. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Cutting the ball back. And a significant block following that cross. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And there's the final whistle. It goes into the books as a City victory. Lee, your assessment. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure.